There are 10 horses in this Preakness race and Dan Collins is here. He is our resident handicapper, been joining us every year for years now. About since I think 2011, I think. I mm -hmm. love it. And you teach us so much about the horses because <laughs> some of us just like to pick the horse for the name. <laughs> some of us do. Well, sometimes there's something to be said about the name because the name will sometimes tell you about uh, uh, the sire and, and, and the mare. And so you can learn a little bit about their uh, pedigree. Okay, so it's not a totally bad idea. We'll start with Always Dreaming the Favorite. Yes, Always Dreaming. Well, there's a good reason Always Dreaming is the favorite. Uh, winner of the Kentucky Derby. Uh, ran extremely well despite very bad conditions. Uh, of course, the Kentucky Derby is always, I call it the charge of the light brigade. Uh, they had 20 horses and terrible slop, and somehow he managed to uh, get in along the rail. Uh, was actually avoided all that mud kicked in his face and ran exceedingly well. He's coming back to the same company. Uh, winner plus gained in the stretch, so he's definitely the favorite the horse to beat today. Yeah, he's had a good long time to get used to Pimlico, that's for sure. Classic Empire. Classic Empire, in his case, uh, he did not have a good ride in the Kentucky Derby. He basically got mugged coming mm. out of the uh, the gate and then had mud kicked in his face for the rest of the uh, rest of the race. Uh, so he ran a little bit and decided, nah, I've had enough, and that was that. So throw out that race. His past performances do show that I think he'll be right with Always Dreaming mm -hmm. at the beginning. Um, kind of laying second and third. Uh, I think we're going to see Conquest Mo Money go to the front. Uh, but at the end, I think the two horses vying for that first place finish will be Always Dreaming and Classic Empire. All right, and then let's just give Conquest Mo Money a little bit of a nod there because you, sure. you have some things to say about him too. Yes, well, in this race, uh, we have 10 horses. It's a mile and three, 18th, uh, 16th. So we're, we're looking for a horse who can uh, get to the front, and Conquest Mo Money is that particular horse. Uh, he does generally go right to the front, but he's coming out of the very last post position, which means he's going to have to swing around that whole field to get to the rail, which means when he breaks, his jockey is going to be driving like mad to get him to the the front and I'm looking at his past performances when he does have that outside hole he has mm -hmm. a tendency to weaken at the end and I think that's what's going to happen by the time we get to the top of the stretch he'll be running out of gas and that's when we're going to see always dreaming and classic empire begin to move past him and then the rest of the field all right so then your prediction then I think the, the, the prediction for the race will be uh, always dreaming, just beating out Classic Empire, uh, and then bringing up the rear, we're going to have Hens, Ganerva, uh, and then the rest of the, uh, the group, what I call the LMST, looking at Lee, Multiplier, Senior Investment, Term of Art, and the rest of them. So, oh, I like that acronym. That was good. Yeah, so I think that, you know, not, not any big surprises. You know, if you're looking for a dark horse, you know, I think you're going to have to try to look for a show bet because mm -hmm. uh, all the winners are going to be coming in very, very short odds. You're not going to win much money that 